I want to focus on this meeting between you and the defendant where you brought, Ms. Hunt, tires and rims to the defendant, pursuant to the understanding if she returned the original or the equivalent tires, you would give her back the tires that were on the car. Correct. Who is this gentleman here? Mr. Taylor. Did he go with you that day with the tires? Yes, sir. Come on, Mr. Taylor. What do you do for a living, sir? I'm a cook. You're a cook? Yes, sir. And uh, do you work for the tire company? No, sir, I don't. Do you have a witness from the tire company? Because you said that you went to a tire company and they came with you to the defendant's place of business and had tires. What proof do you have of that? And what proof do you have that the tires were in, in condition that he should have accepted? Uh, the tires were the same tires that he had on the car previous to me putting on my rims and tires. Those were the same. I never changed the tires the whole time I've had the car. The tires that the tire company brought to Mr. Williams were the original tires that were on the car when I purchased the car. He refused them because he said, oh, they're dry rotted and they're, they're this and they're that. Those were the original tires and rims. Oh, I did not... All right, thank you very much. Sir... Mr. Williams, you need to respond to this. It was the next day that r and Tire called me and said them something they wanted these here wheels or, and tires. They belonged to her. She said the wheels belonged to her, but the uh, tires belonged to them. So I said, well, if we brought you the original, I said, what well, if you have the original wheels and tires? Okay, they said they had the wheels, but they didn't have the tire. But they said, then they asked me, said, if we brought you some with some tires on it. So evidently they're telling me they're putting tires on these wheels. And one of the tires, they was mismatched. They wasn't what was sold on that Why car. Why did you just give her back the rims? You could have I'd rather you have the, the tires. Uh, well, I mean, it, it, she had done, had curbed one of them one of the original rims to start with. You mean yes. it was damaged? Yes. All right, I have no further questions. Mr. Williams, did you give her notice that you were going to repossess her car? Yes. I didn't see it in the evidence. Do you have it in the evidence? Oh, well, no, I didn't. I didn't how, did you, about... how did you give her notice? I sent her a letter. Certified? Yes. And... No, I didn't certify it, no. So how do you know she got it? Well, I don't know. And no. don't you think that would be important for us to see? Well, I mean, I... You know, there's so much to think of okay, out of this I, I thing. It's hard to think of everything. Okay. But there's one more thing I'm wanting to say, you Quickly, on. please. When she come to me that day and wanting her car and it's one that trailer, I said, Miss Hunt, you did this yourself. I want full payoff because you've been troubled. You haven't even made a payment in seven months. Here's your payoff. You can go to finance company. You will. That's the 10 days she had. She could come, she'd come the next day. She'd get in her personal belongings anytime. You know, you're saying that you would have given her the car back if she squared She had 10 off. days. That was the rule okay. for the state Thank of you. Missouri. Yeah. Quick. Sir, the $3,600 he said I owed him, I came to him to give him his $3,600. He told me no. He wanted $11,000. If you add up the payments, <laughs> I didn't owe him $11,000. But you admit you owed him 3600 That would have paid No, no. Behind. I just wanted... I needed my car... And if that's what it would have taken to get my vehicle so okay. I could have kept Thank my job... Thank you very much, both of you. We're going to deliberate now on this matter. This courtroom is now in recess. Next All right, we've reached a verdict. It's unanimous. You know, the application of the law should result in justice. But sometimes that's a very difficult result. Let me explain this as best I can. Ms. Hunt, you have the burden of proof. You say that an injustice was done to you by the defendant because of his refusal to accept the offer that you made to return the original tires and rims. The defendant said that uh, I would have taken them, but they weren't really the equivalent. So we have to look to the objective proof, what makes sense ultimately in the case. And I think one of the factors that lead us to believe the defendant's version of the events with respect to the tires is the original tires and rims would have improved the value of the car that was repossessed. And on top of that, it's hard for us to believe that you met your burden of proof given your failure to produce in this courtroom receipts just the simple receipts that you paid, the payments on time, and that you paid them in full. So, in, I, the final I, I analysis, in the final analysis, we conclude that you have failed to meet your burden of proof, and therefore, your case is dismissed. Thank you.